welcome back to a brand new video everyone and today I'm going to be discussing RMC Guazi. I don't consider this a full on analysis because we don't have a name, full layout or any official stats but we do have an official announcement as well as some clips of the coaster so be sure to stay tuned for a full on analysis for when that comes out. So far we know the coaster is going to be the, the tallest, fastest and steepest hybrid roller coaster. This means that it will have to be at least 211 feet tall. 91 degrees steep and go at least 75 miles per hour. According to leaked rumors, it's going to be 212 feet tall and 91 degrees steep, so that checks out. As for the speed, I'm guessing somewhere in the late 70 mile per hour range. We don't have too much info regarding the layout. Just based on the video they showed, there is a huge swooping inversion, kind of like a half snake dive found on Steel Vengeance but sort of reversed. The general consensus is that the ride will add about 120 feet to the far lift, so that's the one that you do not see from the pathways. Enthusiasts have been responding in a mixed manner. Some were disappointed that it didn't duel, and I can definitely relate to that, but regardless, it's going to be an incredible ride, duel or no duel. People have been claiming it's going to beat Steel Vengeance, but I'm going to wait for a full-on layup before even thinking about that. Personally, I think Mean Streak was a much better coaster to convert to an RMC than Guazi. I'm worried that RMC Guazi will, ha will not have enough airtime. Now, as for the layout itself, I've seen a bunch of rumors, leak layouts, and predictions. Pretty much what everyone is agreeing on is that it pretty much only used half of what they had, and I'm kind of disappointed by that. Of course, we don't have a layout yet, so we cannot make any assumptions. But I saw somewhere that there was a overhead layout. I can't show it here because apparently it was classified. I, and, I, and I don't even think it was real. But if it was, there isn't as much airtime as there would be on something like Steel Vengeance. The first few elements I'm guessing will be pretty big. Think like the top hat on Steel Vengeance or the swooping turns on the new Texas Giant. And then the rest of the ride would be lower to the ground. Based on a couple of rumors I've seen, it's only going to have two inversions. Which is definitely a weird move. Most RMCs that are conversions have three inversions, but we're definitely seeing differences now. So we saw Steel Vengeance with four, Uproar in 2019 with five, and then of course Twisted Colossus with two. So I don't really think that's a big deal. As for the name, I'm predicting it to be Uproar. That was trademarked roughly a year ago, and I doubt that they name it Twisted Tiger because that's two tiger names in two years because of Tigris this year. And yeah, I'm guessing that they let the cat out of the bag about Uproar, or RMC Guazi, when Tigris opens in May of 2019. That's just the rumor that they're going to announce that when they unveil Tigris. But until then, we'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you all next time. Bye, guys.